हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई पंकज दुमका वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस लेक्चर ऑन फ्लूड मैकेनिक्स टुडे आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग विथ यू पीपल दैट व्हाट आर स्ट्रीम लाइन्स ओके एट द आउटसेट आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू दैट टू डिस्क्राइब द फ्लो फील्ड ज्योमेट्रिकली एंड स्पेसिफिकली व्हेन वी आर डीलिंग विथ आइलेरियल फ्लो फील्ड दैट मीन्स द फ्लो फील्ड वेयर let us say the velocity vectors we are talking of the velocity flow field is a function of what is a function of spatial coordinate in time then if we want to understand the geometric behavior or geometrically the flow field then these stream lines will help us in understanding the geometrical uh, aspect of that flow field so what are stream lines stream lines are the imaginary lines or series of imaginary lines which are drawn in a flow field so these are series of imaginary lines these are drawn in the flow field in such a way that if you draw a tangent at any particular point let us say i am drawing tangent to this point so the tangent drawn on to this stream line or any stream line at any point at any instant will give us the instantaneous velocity vector of that particular point at that particular time <coughs> so what are stream lines stream lines are the imaginary lines which are drawn in the flow field in such a way that at any instant if i draw a tangent at any particular point then that particular tangent will give the direction of the instantaneous velocity vector of that particular uh, at that particular point okay so time is a constant sort of you can say or we can say that at any particular time or time is a constant means means at any point in time so you can see that these stream lines are instantaneous so if the flow field is steady that means the velocity vectors are not changing with respect to time then this particular situation will prevail throughout but if the flow field is unsteady so let us say uh, originally at time t is equal to let us say 1 second the the stream lines are like this so these are the stream lines at that particular time but as the time changes and if the flow field is unsteady then the velocity vector at different point will be changing itself because the velocity at any point is changing with respect to time means that is unsteady so what will happen to stream line they will change themselves so if this was the uh, uh, stream line at time t t uh, t1 then this becomes the stream line at time another time okay so this is only for unsteady flow so in unsteady flow what i should write is in unsteady flow the stream lines changes whereas in case of steady flow they remains the same okay so what are some characteristic features of these stream lines remember that two stream lines if this is one stream line this is another stream line at any drawn at any instant so two stream lines can never intersect it's not possible for these for any stream line to intersect at any instant so if this is time t is equal to uh, let us say any 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 time then if this is the point of interest then with respect to this particular stream line this is the tangent this is the velocity vector and with respect to this stream line this is the velocity vector and these are drawn at time t so at this particular point what is there at this particular point you are having two velocity vectors which is impractical illogical hence this is not possible so two stream lines can never ever intersect moreover if you have a stream line then it cannot cross itself it cannot form a loop because stream lines are instantaneous they are drawn at a particular instant so if they are making a loop means at this point again you will be having this and this as velocity vectors at the same time again a point can only have one velocity at any instant of time so if a particle is coming here so at this instant it will be having only single velocity so but in this particular case it is having two velocity so crossing over or making a loop is not permitted in stream line okay so if uh, so the thing is 
if you have a bundle of steam lines like this bundle of steam lines forming a hollow like this this is called a stream tube okay so this is a bundle of steam line which is form, forming a stream tube okay so the thing is this is such type of tube as you can see that velocity vector tangent to the stream line means if any particle is coming then that has to follow the stream line that means no crossing over of stream line is possible that means no velocity can prevail across the stream line so no flow across the stream line will happen so if any fluid is coming here then it has to leave like this okay no movement outside it is not permitted because stream lines are defined such that the flow should always take along that particular stream line at that particular instant okay so the thing is how to uh, write uh, the equation of a stream line that is very important so friends consider a stream line like this okay mm. so consider a stream line like this and focus on this particular point imagine a very short distance across this point a very short distance let us say this is ds ds vector okay now the velocity vector at this particular point is what this is v now velocity at any point has to be tangent so that means it has to be parallel to ds isn't it and what is ds basically ds okay if you consider these two points and this is your coordinate then this is your s vector position vector and this is your uh, s vector plus ds vector so that this displacement becomes ds so this ds vector and v vector they both are parallel and if two vectors are parallel then their cross product will always be zero therefore the vectorial form of uh, stream line is this that is v cross ds is zero so if you are moving to cartesian coordinate and you are let us say this is x this is y and this is z so velocity along x is u velocity along y is v and velocity along z is w then Uh, this velocity vector can be written as i u j v k w okay and this d s then can be written as i d x plus j d y plus k d z in this rectangular cartesian so if you want to know the cross product then this is your uh, u v w this is d x dy and dz and this has to be zero so that means i v dz minus w dy minus j u dz minus w dx and plus k u dy minus v dx this will be zero and zero means zero vector that is zero i zero j zero k so if you compare the components i 0 j 0 and this one 0 so you will be getting what you will be getting dz by w is equal to dy by v from this here you will be getting dz by w is equal to dx by u and from here dy by v will be equal to dx by u so if you collect all these then the equation of this streamline becomes dx by u dy by v dz by w so friends this is the equation of streamline okay now let us take one problem let us say that i want to know that what uh, is the equation of a streamline if the flow field is given to me and at any uh, specific location i want to know that what is that that is let us say that my velocity field is uh, given as ix minus jy this is the velocity field and i am interested that what will be the uh, velocity vector oh, i'm sorry what will be the equation of streamline okay at point let us say 2 comma 1 i want to know that what is the Uh, streamline at two comma one. Okay, now 
if you look closely then this is your x component of velocity and this is your y component of velocity so what is u it is x what is v it is minus y so this is a two dimensional flow field okay so in this flow field the equation will be dx by u is equal to dy by v and that will be z oh, i'm sorry okay and one more thing i would like to tell you that whenever you have this then the slope of streamline in this two dimensional uh, flow field that is dy by dx this becomes v by u okay now come to the problem so what is d what is u u is x what is y y is uh, sorry what is v it is minus y so you do one thing you bring everything on the left side so it becomes dy by y is plus dx by x and that will be zero now you integrate this equation so this becomes log y plus log x and some constant let us say log c so log a plus log b is log a b so it becomes log x y is equal to log c so that means x y is equal to c so this is the general equation of streamline in the flow field given by this velocity vector so what is the well what is the streamline which is passing through 2 comma 1 so first the nature this is a rectangular hyperbola so the equa the, the uh, streamline which is passing through the point 2 comma 1 will be 2 into 1 is equal to c so the value of c is 2 therefore the equation of streamline is x y is equal to 2 or x y minus 2 is equal to 0 so friends this is the equation of streamline which is passing through the point so in this particular lecture i have explained you what are streamlines okay so what are streamlines they are the uh, instantaneous lines which are drawn in a flow field in such a way that if any tangent is drawn at any point at any instant that will give the um, velocity vector at that particular point two streamlines can never intersect a streamline can never form a closed loop and the equation of a streamline in vectorial form is this and in cart in rectangular cartesian coordinates this equation is okay so uh, if you like my video then uh, please do like share and subscribe in this lecture till this point only thank you very much take care